Let's put our hands together for Amanda Johnson. A total ignite virgin so this is my first time and I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve because it's like GABF Eve which is amazing so that's kind of what I'm talking about do you guys remember the days of play dates and field day and recess just running out onto the playground with reckless abandon not worrying about the toils of schoolwork for like 20 minutes just letting go I don't know what your favorite thing was at play, play on the playground. What was your favorite thing to play at the playground? Dodgeball, swings. Mine was playing Swiss Family Robinson on the jungle gym. I was a total dork. But I wonder sometimes when we lose that, I, I feel like we still, you know, we have our moments where we let go and have fun, but how often do we completely drop everything and just play for the sake of play. Adults need it too. There's research that shows that play is equally important for adults just as it is for children. We need it to de-stress. We need it to re-energize and refocus, to regroup. In fact, uh, Dr. Stuart Brown is the founder of the National Institute for Play. He wrote the book Play and he says pretty much all awesome people have one thing in common, they all play enthusiastically throughout their lives. Play connects us, it's, uh, it's social, it's communicative, it sparks creativity, it teaches us new things about ourselves, about others, and when you get down to it, at the end of the day, it just makes you happy, right? It's fun, play makes you happy. He looks happy, yeah. And I think that craft beer is a lot like play. It's, uh, it's got all the same kind of benefits, all the wonderful attributes that play provides for us. Craft beer does the same thing. It's a very simple pleasure in a bottle. And just like play, it's social. I mean, honestly, who really here wants to drink alone? I've done it, but it's more fun with friends, right? It's something we like to share with our friends. It's something we do together. As colleagues, we collaborate. It also is creative. We have an amazing 1,700 plus craft breweries in this country, and we're all striving to make the next creative recipe or the best uh, new technique or method for brewing. And like play, when you get down to it, at the end of the day, craft beer just makes you happy. It's good, right? It's delicious, it's delicious. And I would wager that those of us that are craft beer enthusiasts are at an advantage to this whole play thing. Um, it's something we just get. It's an intrinsic quality in all of us. It's, it's intrinsic in our companies, in our cultures, in our communities. Beer is play. At least that's kind of how we feel at Odell's. That's where I work, so I, I can only speak for us. But I'd like to just kind of share with you how we play and how play makes us better brewers. It's something that we do kind of on a regular basis. For us, it all starts here. This is our five barrel pilot brewing system that we call our playground. And it fosters experimentation and innovation. We've got creative people jumping on, making new recipes, and everyone's invited to play. So we play pretend making up crazy new recipes that tell all of our stories, stories like new loves or crazy adventures or maybe even a triumphant battle. And we also play dress up. That's, that's my husband right there. And uh, yeah, we play dress up, entertaining our secret or not so secret inner callings, but mostly just entertaining our coworkers and our friends. We also on occasion play superhero thinking maybe we just might save the world one pint at a time, or maybe just having an excuse to wear tights. <sighs> yeah. Gotta love beer, man. And sometimes we just play with a beer in our hand. We just play. It's 
It's really actually all just a whole bunch of make-believe. Because you see, we all make and believe in the playful power of quality craft beer. Thank you very much.